Welcome back to Factorial. My name is Scott for SB Gaming, and when we ended the episode last time, and yes, I'm still sick because I'm actually recording this just after I finished the previous episode. So no time has passed for me, but a day or two or three may have passed for you. Anyway, enough of that. We have on the screen, our solar energy has finished to researching. So we can then continue the research, see what else we are going to need. We probably should get advanced oil processing, but that will require blue science. Yes, it's going to require blue science. That's laser turrets. That requires lasers. But we are going to need to get the last piece of the puzzle set up, which is... I might as well get it going. We are going to need to get the last piece of the puzzle, which is batteries. Yes, batteries, which require iron and copper and sulfuric acid. And this is the iron and copper that we will be using. And we are going to set up batteries somewhere. And actually, I might even set it up right here. It's a little too close. Maybe right here. Yeah? Yeah? Where do I set it up? <laughs> OCD is OCD is, of course, you know, OCD. Now, I am going to want to leave space for my blue science production. I may want to do it here. Of course, I may also want to set up leave space just in case I want to extend my green science production. And that's always an option if I want to expand things. But for now, it's a nice compact setup. So I'm not going to really be too concerned about space because we have all of this. Unfortunately, we also have a whole lot of biters to deal with. Let's actually take a look at the... Uh, As I was going to say, let's take a look at the biter situation. We can see actually the biters are fairly late here. And, oh, that could be a problem. Uh, so we are, we are good there for now. We're good here for now. So it's a good thing that we are building our, oh, no, okay. We might have some issues over there. Oh, this is going to be fun. It's revealing that's up there. Yeah, it still has a lot more to reveal. So, we are good for now. We are not annoying the biters. We want to leave this kind of conflict until later at another time. We are going to want to get a re radar outpost down here just so we can figure out what we need to deal with here. I have a feeling if we are going to fight against the biters, we might have to take out this pile of hell. It's close enough to our base so that if we need to... Uh, oh, it's, it's going to be fun no matter what we do. Yeah. If you have any ideas on what we should do to deal with the biter threat, whether we should do something that isn't coming to mind, let me know down in the comments how you would if you were in my situation with my limited resources. Remember that we only got this much iron. We only have this. We have a fair amount of copper, which will come into play in the late game, but... Our iron, that could be tricky. How would you deal with the fact that we have this much biters to deal with and this little resources? We should be fine for coal. We have a lot of coal, which can power this. We can also grab some solid fuel. But iron will be the important thing, and we may have to push down here hopefully there isn't a big base down here 
and possibly find a better place to get iron. Enough of that. Let's go jump out. And what do we have next? Oh yes, we have to do batteries. When it comes to batteries, we are going to need a bunch of chemical plants because we are going to need to produce sulfur, which requires water and petroleum gas. And we are also going to need sulfuric acid. So what we are going to do right now, for the most part, one sulfur plant should be able to more than handle, I believe, Or is it? No, actually, it's one sulfuric acid plant should be able to handle more than enough of our sulfur, sulfuric acid needs. We may need more than one sulfur plant. Of course, I've only ever built one. So if we are going to have our oil tanks over here. I'm going to put sulfur right here. Sulfur is going to need water, so that's also something to deal with. And in fact, I might just, uh, I don't want to, do, don't really want to do that. Although, mm, mm. Let's build you right about here. I can feed directly off the iron, or not the iron, the uh, also what may help is, yeah, water and petroleum and this, this will require iron. So I am going to need to bring my iron up which I might as well do right now. And yes, this is an o another OCD moment. Mm, so right here, yeah, okay. I think I know what I'm gonna do. Leave enough space, cause I'm sure I'm going to need to run pipes through here. So this is going to be sulfur. Oh, sweet. Now, yeah. What we are going to, nope. There's water over here. And we are going to need a water pump there and I am going to put it there clear those trees out we got water into our sulfur plant and yeah why not what we are going to do is that even though I'd rather not hopefully it won't cause an issue with too much going to one not going to the other anyway that is going to produce sulfur and I'm going to want a sulfuric acid plant And so, we are going to need a chemical plant, which means we need iron. We may, might as well also grab some stone, or no, steel while we're at it. And we need electronic circuits, which means we also need copper. Copper, copper, copper. Oh, the hell? That was wrong key. Let's grab some off the belt, make a couple chemical plants. 
Oh, these are going to be... Take 10 seconds, all right. So now we are going to want to have... Also going to want to have storage space for the copper. Or the... Not the copper. Mm. I'm thinking I might build my processing circuits over here. So I may want to have a tank over here. I can build it right here. Um, and what I'm going to do is first off suffer. So I am going to need water. I might as well build it here. that I can get rid of that and like that although yeah I'll do that and then send this off over here down some trees because you know we all love trees and I'm going to want to put this right about yeah that's good all right so now or do I want it there hmm I'm going to want to split off some iron, feed it here. Uh, OCD warn warning. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next episode. Well, I completely overhaul this because it doesn't it doesn't work as like I'd like it to. And that's too many likes. So anyway, um, I'm going to just continue and pretend I didn't say that. So now I am going to want to have batteries produced. Where do I actually want to produce them? I have this. I'm going to want to... Uh, I going to no I don't want to put it there so I'm going to be extending my plastic going this way I think I think although I can have another OCD moment uh, and until I figure out exactly what I want to do that my OCD will be satisfied I am going to chop down some trees because it is very relaxing <laughs> uh, okay enough of that how many plastic plants am I going to want to have I really don't need more than one or three I'll assume that I'm going to put some plastic more plastic plants here and I can figure some crap out here so what I am going to do is I am going to start my um, I'm going to want to have my battery production say right here let's just leave space for something there this is going to be my battery production I've decided that's probably going to be the best place for it and I'll split off my right there and I need some underground belt I better grab some more pipe because I may just need it all 
Right, so... So much for that there. Um, and now, like this. Yeah, I think I'll do that instead. Like that. And like that. Awesome. So now, just like my plastic, I am going to have my... Let's see. I'm going to have... Rather not like my plastic, I am going to have my my iron and copper, that's what it is, come in through here. It is going to be outputted. Might as well do a check. Uh, no, I have plenty of boxes. Now I'm going to input here and... Uh, hello? And yes, I realize my OCT. <laughs> okay. It's been satisfied. So I'm going to have my box placed there. I am going to need an inserter for that. Output inserter there. And I'm going to need a few more transport belts right there and there. And that will give me battery production. Let's limit that to 50 or a stack, whatever that is. That could actually be 200. So now with this setup, I can just, if I need to increase my battery production, it's also going to need sulfur. Yes, I'm going to need to power that up. I can just extend these along here. And that'll be perfect. So now let's get the power going. This may not be the best way to do things. And of course, of course, I need iron how am I going to get iron up here I know I am going to have to have a long handed inserter and I will bring it up through here or am I what if I No, I'm going to do it like this. So now I can have my... Oh, 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 oh. It's going to be good. A few more belts. Smart inserter. One more belt. Nope, wrong way. And now I am going to uh, uh, um, maybe I want to do this a little differently. Let's put a smart chest. Yes, a smart chest right here. Why you say? Because this is a smart inserter. And I am going to use red wires. This to here, this to here. Uh, no, 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 don't. Uh, uh, I just need iron. Thank you. And you are going to, as long as that has less than 50. And now we are going to throw that like that and power it up. So now what should happen is 
This will accumulate 50 in here. And at a later time when I do have logistic robots, I can turn this into a requester chest. But until then, this will feed iron onto the belt as long as this chest has less than 50. See what I did just there? Yes, I made this factory smart. It will only put uh, stuff there and yes, I need to make that a fast inserter. Just because it's going to uh, bother me. And oh, 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 yeah, yeah, 50, that has stopped. Awesome. Don't have any resources sitting on the belt. That is what I like to see. I hope that's what you like to see as well. Of course, not everyone is like me. And I think that's going to be it for this, this episode. We did get batteries set up. So now we have batteries, smart inserters, advanced circuits, and steel. We just have to make this a little bit more of a effective setup. Then we can produce our blue science packs. Yes, blue science packs, which I might actually set up right here. <laughs> but that will have to come next time. My name is Scott for Factorio. No, no. Scott for SP Gaming. Bringing you Factorio. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye.